are you doing? Covering enough of Ducati up so Sam don't bloody see it. He's uncovered all of them. Today we be mostly at Mid Custom. On this episode, we finally get our teeth into Ethel, which is the Ducati that's been sat on my bench for quite some time. Why don't we see how we feel when the stars have faded? Why don't we see if it's love without the blood? Okay, so the past couple of episodes, uh, you probably noticed this bad boy in the background. Latest build called Flawed. So almost done. It looks excellent. Even eight months ago, when we shot the short promo video, guess what's sitting in the background gathering dust? <laughs> oh, did a ride up there. And we are now finally building the Ducati. It's started its life as a Ducati 750 SS and uh, we're going to do a cafe racer with it. Uh, up at the front end, at the moment it's got the uh, stock wheel and forks in it. We're going to swap the front wheel out for a spoked item. That's going to need spacing and proper machining, so we see our friend Craig for that. Craig! Tank is currently uh, loose to say the least, so we need to work out how we're going to mount it. We're pretty sure how we're going to do the back, but we've got to have a little bit of jiggery at the front. The motor's going to obviously get really cleaned up. This motor's absolutely minging, so that's going to get a nice bit of detailing done on it. To work back, we've already rebuilt the uh, subframe, so we cut off the back end of the frame, made up a new one, helped sit the seat, and also to take the twin shock. So we want to do a twin shock on this one, and instead of an external twin shock, we've gone inside where a monoshock would be. Uh, the back end we've already had lined up so we've already got the spoke wheel in here and exhaust these are just for mock-up completely for mock-up. Goes well with the tank by the looks of it. Absolutely. Yeah, not nose down or nose up. Nice. You want it straight with the bottom of the tank, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you want this to flow in with that basically. Action! Try and match that now. Yeah, we yeah. talked about it. Good luck. Well, we've been building Ducatis for many, many years, and what's always nice is to um, see some of the specials come back for servicing. This one's come back in for service and a, an upgrade to a motor gadget clock unit. Ducatis have always been a big part of my life. Um, Alice has always been a big Ducati fan as well, riding and what have you. Perspective, this one's always going to look longer than the other from a different angle. From, from behind that is perfect. I started working for Ducati back in the 1990s. Yeah, that's sick. My passion for them was unrivaled. I, I just 
couldn't think or didn't want to be around any other bike other than other than the Ducatis. Um, I raced them for two seasons in Super Twins, Pro V Twins, and I've been building wacky stuff out of them for years. Alrighty, so we're going to be stripping down the Mint Ducati 750 SS, which uh, we've capped. So we put a front end from a Ducati Sport Classic into this. Uh, the wheels, front and back, are both from the same donor bike. The fairing is just a generic Imola style fairing. Uh, we've got a, a Red Max uh, Sport Classic style fiberglass tank. Uh, next is... Uh, we've fabbed the exhausts, so we had to make some extensions for this. Once again, this is, we've got quite a bit of Sport Classic bits on this. So these exhausts are from one of the GT thousands that I used to have, uh, Conti pipes, which is a really classic look. So we've made these fit by making a few adjustments to the original headers. We're going to strip it down and then lots of overwhelming on the frame, uh, flapping back, clean it all up ready for powder coat. Yeah, I love a cup of tea, one sugar. Uh, this is Craig, if you don't know who Craig is yet. Um, Craig's who we approach if we come up with a really, really wacky idea. We come to Craig. Not only does he build us some mad stuff, um, he has to cope with our really weird ideas, or my really weird ideas, but he also does all the soda blasting and the sand blasting of the frames preps all the engines for us, anything like that, great covers. Frames back from blasting, so it shows a few imperfections in the welding that I was doing. What's that motor out of? Nothing, nothing's out. Most of it's pretty good, so there's not a lot of work to do on it. And then straight powder coat and get our signature white frame. And now the long wait for paint and powder coat begins. <laughs> Everything's getting very Italian. Yeah, see, ciao, Bella, ciao, Bella. Oh, we've got the, we've got ciao, the Bella. I'm always good. Really great, you're smoking. I just want the f this on the f wheel. That's all I want. I don't, if that's a f***ing triangle, I don't care. I just want the discs on the wheel. It won't work the triangle because you ain't going to get them out of oh. Hello. Hello, Simon. Hello, how are we doing? All right? I'm all right, mate. You? What can I? I'm scared now, Adam. What do you want? I, I've got, um, I've got a friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just a chest. 
A drag motorcycle. A drag motorcycle. Yeah, not a drag star as in drag star poorly built motorcycle, as in a drag bike for Santa Pod. Yeah, uh, I'm all ears. It hasn't run for a little while. That's okay. It's all complete, engines in, etc., etc. Right. <clears throat> he wants to obviously get it running. Yeah. And and then he's looking for a test pilot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 